So now we're going to be talking about ratio, proportion, and rate. And this is a very simple topic. So let's start out with ratio. So ratio gives a quantitative relationship between amounts of the same kind. The typo here. Between amounts of the same kind. So what does this mean? As an example, let's assume you have 10 oranges. You have 10 oranges. And you want to share it with, say, your younger sister. So, or your sibling. Zoom here. I want to share it with one of your siblings. So you can say, I'm going to take 7. Am I going to give my sibling 3? So in this case, the ratio is going to be what? 7 ratio 3. Or you can say, I want to give my brother 4 or my sibling 4 while I will take 6. So in this case, the ratio will be 6 ratio 4. Or you can decide to share it equally. So you take 5 and take 5. That is 5 ratio 5. So what does this tell us? Tells us that in this first instance, what it means is that for every 7 I take, my sibling is going to take 3. Yeah, for every 6 I take, the other guy is going to take 4. And yeah, for every 5 I take, he's going to take 5. So how does this picture change when I have 20 oranges? So if I have 20 oranges to share and I decide to share them in this ratio, what am I going to receive? So now you are the one here and this is your sibling. So sharing it in the ratio of 7 ratio 3 means for every 7 I take, my sibling is going to take 3. So when I take my first 7, it's going to take 3. When I take another 7, it's going to take 3. So now when you have this, I'm going to take 14 while my sibling is going to take 6 if I'm going to share it based on this ratio. In the second case, as you can see, I'm going to just take 12 multiplying both, side, both sides of the ratio by 2 while my sibling will take 8. And in this case, 5 ratio 5, I'm just going to take equal amounts. So let's see how this comes into play with one example. Now, the selling price of a second hand car is originally 273,000 Naira. The dealer reduces the price in the ratio 13 ratio 11. What is the new selling price of the car? So that means you have it, the original price was 30 and now it's being reduced to 11. Now, so that means the original price, which is was in ratio 13, corresponds to 273,000. So ratio what? So what this means is that what value of x would I put in here in which when I simplify this ratio, I'm going to result in 13 ratio 11. So a way to do this is just to express both of them fractional terms. So I have 13 over 11 is equals to 273,000 over x. Then when I cross multiply, I have 13x is equal to 273,000 times 11. If I divide both sides by 13, so I'm left with x which is equal to 231,000 Naira. So the new selling price of the car has been reduced from 273,000 to 231,000. So now let's look at proportions. Proportions tell us how a quantity is to be divided among parties based on their ratio between variables. So what does this mean? To explain this, let's take a quick look at the next section. So how do we convert ratio to fraction? So the first thing to do is to add all the proportions then we divide each agent's proportion with the total that's the fraction they are tied to two so to explain it in late terms let me give you a quick example so let's assume that i want to share something in ratio two ratio three 
there are two people that want to share an iPad in two ratio theory. So now let's assume that we now have 15 oranges to be shared in the ratio 2 ratio 3. How is this going to play out among these two parties? So to start with, the procedure tells us to add all proportions together. So we're going to add these two people together. So we have 2 plus 3 and that is equals to 5. So divide each agent's proportion with the total. So the first agent, which is this first person here, let me call him X, is entitled to 2 over 5 of the total number of oranges, then times 15. So I have 5 here, 1, 5 here, 3, and that is equal to what? 6 oranges. Why the second person is entitled to his own proportion, which is 3 over 5, times 15 oranges and that is equals to what 9 oranges so that means if i'm going to share 15 oranges in ratio 2 ratio 3 it means that the first person is entitled to 6 oranges and why the second person is entitled to 9 oranges so now one thing to know if you're actually on the right track is that if you write out this amount in terms of ratio and you simplify they are asked to reduce to the original ratio value. So let's try that out. The first person is getting six oranges, and the second person is getting nine oranges. You can see that if we divide both sides by three, left with two and left with three, so it reduces to two ratio three, which is the original ratio that we decided to share it with. So you should take note of how. To find the amount that is someone is entitled to based on their ratio and proportion so let's solve an example so it says three boys share a number of oranges in the ratio five ratio three ratio two if there are 20 oranges in total what is the largest share received so you are told of three boys so you have three boys Shen oranges in the ratio 5, ratio 3, ratio 2. So based on this, who is going to receive the highest number of orange? We know that it is this first person because he has the greatest proportion, which is 5. So how do we calculate the amount he receives out of this 20? The first step tells us to add the total number of proportions that we have. So we have 5 plus 3 plus 2, which is equal to 10. So, the first boy, let's call it boy, is entitled to his own proportion, which is 5, over the total number of proportion, which is 10, then times total amount of oranges you want to share, which is 20. So, he's entitled to what? 10 oranges. So, in this question, what is the largest share received? The largest share received is 10 oranges, and it goes to the first boy. But to extend on this idea, let's try to calculate the amount of oranges received by others. So the second person now receives three, the second person over 10 times 20. So he receives what? He receives six oranges. And why the third boy? His proportion is just to receive two out of 10. 10 times 20 so he receives four oranges so the first boy receives 10 oranges the second boy receives six oranges while the third boy receives four oranges so when you find the sum of these numbers you get 20 oranges so now let's talk about rates rate shows the connection between quantities of different kinds and what do i mean by this now imagine you are going on a trip from Lagos to Ibadan. So you are going on a trip from Lagos all the way to Ibadan. And this is about 120 kilometer. So now you are in a car. Don't mind my diagram. So you are in a car. 
and this car is moving at say 100 kilometers per hour and this other car is moving at 200 kilometers per hour if you want to arrive to Ibadan on time which car are you going to take obviously you are going to take the second car because it's moving at a greater speed now speed in this sense is defined by this number here and we can see it in terms of weight as kilometer per hour so you have on the first car is moving at 100 kilometers so for at every hour for every hour it's going to co cover 100 kilometers why the second car for every hour it cover 200 kilometers so this speed gives us the relationship between the distance covered in a particular amount of time so that kind of relationship is what we refer to as weight now let's try to solve an example it says if i can ride a bicycle at a rate of five meter per second how long will it take me to ride a distance of 12 kilometer at the same rate so it's telling me that my speed or oh, i'm moving at a rate of five meter per second so that means for every second that passes i've moved a distance of five meter so now it's telling me that how long would it now take me to ride a distance of 12 kilometer so i know that 12 kilometer first and foremost i have to convert it to a unit that is consistent so i have to convert it to meters so i know that 12 kilometers is equals to 12,000 meters so now i'm told that every second i'll cover five meters so how many seconds would it now take me to cover 112,000 meters so that is pretty straightforward i just need to divide the total distance i'm trying to cover by the weight so i'm going to have 12,000 divided by five and that is 2400 sec seconds so you might not want to leave your answer in seconds so you can divide by 60 to convert to minutes and that gives me 40 minutes so another way to think about it is just to use the formula for speed but the reason why i will not suggest that is because you might be giving this question in any other way so it's better to understand the principle behind it but you know that speed is given as what distance over time so now i know the speed as five meter per second so five is equals to and i know my distance as twelve thousand meter it has to be in the same unit so i'm trying to calculate my time so my time will just be equals to 12,000 over 5 which reduces to this and we are, as we have seen this is same as what 40 minutes so the time it will take me to cover 12 kilometers if I'm moving at this rate is 40 minutes now let's solve one more example so it says each week a person works from 8 a.m. to 12 30 p.m on six days and from 2 p.m to 5 30 p.m on four days the rate of pay is 595 naira per hour what is the two person's total money earned for 10 days so we know that for six days the person worked from 8 a.m to 12 30 p.m and on the remaining four days he worked from 2 p.m to 5 30 pm and we told that they pay at 595 naira per hour so how much did he earn for this total 10 days so for the first six days for six days we know that he worked from 8 am to 12 30 pm so now each day how many hours did he work if you look at it you can see that from 8 am to 12 30 pm 
is the same thing as four and a half hours, four hours, 30 minutes, or 4.5 hours. So what does it mean? So if it works each day for 4.5 hours, then for six days, the total number of hours it worked, total hours for six days will be equal to what? Six times 4.5. And what would that give you? That will give you 27 hours. So for the first four days, it worked for 27 hours. How about the other four days? For the other four days, it worked from 2 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. So now we can see that from 2 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. is three and a half hours or 3.5 hours. So since it worked for 3.5 hours for four days, so the total time for four days would just be equal to what? four times 3.5 and that is equals to 14 hours so we know that for the first six days it worked a total of 27 hours while for the next four days it worked a total of 14 hours so how many hours did it now work for the total 10 days so for the total 10 days the total time worked now time will be equals to the total hours it worked for the first six days, which is 27, plus the hours it worked for the remaining four days, which is 14. And that gives me what? 41 hours. So we know that for these 10 days, it worked a total of 41 hours. Now, we are told that the rate of pay is, the rate of pay is 595 Naira, Per hour so what it means that for every hour I worked is going to receive 595 Naira so now that we know that it worked for 41 hours so the money it will earn so the money it will earn now will just be equals to the amount they pay per hour 595 then times the total number of hours it worked for that 10 days which is what 41 and when you multiply this you are going to have 24,395 Naira. So by working in these 10 days, the man receives 24,395 Naira. So to recap, what did we do? We first find the total number of hours it worked for the first six days to be 27. Then we find found the total number of hours it worked in the remaining four days which you found to be 14 hours then we found the total time it worked for those 10 days by adding the time for those two sections to be 41 hours and we told that the rate of pay is 595 naira per hour so when it works for 41 hours it's going to receive that amount per hour by the total number of hours it worked which is 24,395. So this is basically what it means to work with weights.